The Coast Guard Festival technically started last Friday, but for many, the parade of ships is what signals the beginning of Grand Haven's largest event of the year. But this year, the weather forced the Coast Guard to change course. 13 on your side, Lake Shore reporter Noah Fromson explains. Waves slamming the Grand Haven shoreline didn't just keep swimmers out of the lake. They hampered a salute to the watchdogs of the water. We are seeing probably four or five foot waves out there. Lieutenant junior grade Caleb Matroka says there were too many risks out there to maintain the parade's original staging. You have lots of boats very close to each other, so very short amount of time to react if, you know, say engines went out or you get a rogue wave come in, a higher risk of boats colliding. <laughs> It wasn't traditional single file, but all four U.S. Coast Guard cutters. The Katmai Bay, the Bristol Bay, the Buckthorn, and the Alder. Arrived before noon. Still impressive to the first timers. It's still enjoyable. You know, seeing all the big boats, watching the men work as a team, even, you know, to bring the stairs down. But people like Mia Kinder and Francine Rizzo, who've come out for around 20 years, felt a dip in the energy. Um, it's usually very crowded. People actually um, sometimes corner spots off, uh, like the parade, so they can save their spot. The parade may have been canceled, but the tours are still on schedule for thousands of people to come up here on the deck, check out the bridge, and see how the Coast Guard works. And have lots of the crew that have years of experience here to answer questions and you know, explain what we do. But nothing says Coast Guard like Coast Guard ships coming in the harbor. Commander Mike Smith, the festival's executive director, says they won't let one weather event slight the entire Coast Guard spirit. We have 38 events over 10 days, affordable family fun, open to the public. We might have missed the entrance of the ships, but they'll be here and they'll fill the harbor just nicely. In Grand Haven, Noah Fromson, 13 on your side.